It is challenging to determine the true level of the patient's pain because somebody may say my pain is 8 out of 10 or 9 out of 10, but somebody else that has a different kind of a chemical makeup might say that their pain is only 5 out of 10. Uh, it's very difficult, it's very subjective. The doctor has to figure out, is this patient telling the truth? Is this patient lying because they want opioids? They have absolutely no idea, and that's literally, either whether it's the zero to 10 scale or smiley faces and frowny faces, is how we diagnose the most prevalent and most expensive healthcare condition in the United States. Our business is all around delivering information to improve those important and sometimes life-threatening decisions. We combine clinical information about a patient along with information about their genetics to be able to better understand how they feel pain, which medications they're most likely to respond to, and understanding which patients are at risk for abusing opioid pain medications. I ended up ha having a lot of pain that I just couldn't catch up on. And with, through the course of this, they sent me to pain management who had me on morphine, oxycodone, hydrocodone, muscle relaxers, and Percocet. I was a non-functioning person, literally. They had labeled me as a drug seeker and that I had a very low pain tolerance. And in my past, I've had a very high pain tolerance. And then they sent me to a different doctor and he decided to do the test that PROVE does. And sure enough, the test proved, literally, that I had a very high tolerance, as my doctor described it, I have the pain tolerance of an NFL football player. And then he also turned around and said, you shouldn't be on all these medications because I literally could have stopped breathing in the middle of the night. It turns out that I only needed one medication, so I got off six medications. So that, at the point in time, I was able to start functioning in the real world and be able to do what I normally do, which is run my business. I think this kind of a genetic testing and knowing what the patient has in their genetic makeup before we start giving them medications would go a long way to prevent opioid addiction. I'm sure other doctors will catch on and this may become one of our tools that everyone would be expected to use before dispensing medications. Hey CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the eye right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.